Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express and today we're talking about using your heat press to print aprons. Now not only are aprons easy to print with custom screen printed or digital transfers, but they're also a profitable item to decorate. We'll talk about what to look for when you're selecting your blank aprons, where to get them, and what types of transfers that you could use on them. Then, of course, we're gonna print one up. So are you ready? Let's get to it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Aprons are awesome for apparel decorators because number one, they're super easy to print with any heat press. And number two, printed aprons are affordable for most businesses. And number three, they could lead to some profit for you in high or even low quantities. But we're gonna talk about those low quantities in a little bit. Now, wholesale aprons are available in 100% cotton twill or poly cotton blends. Typically around 50-50 or 60-40 blends with that cotton poly which is great because they're not too heat sensitive. 100% cotton aprons like this, A500 from Port Authority that we have here today, can be printed with our goof-proof screen printed transfers, no problem. Taking that 365 degree temperature, just like a t-shirt does. No press marks, no scorching, perfect results. One thing to be very mindful of are any water resistant coatings or stain repellents applied to the fabric. Now many wholesale websites don't carry those styles, but it's important to check the description because these will give you a hard time with any decoration method other than embroidery. Now I mentioned our goof proof screen printed transfers being an awesome choice for printing on these aprons and pretty much almost anything else. But for our example today, since we're going to be printing some smaller quantities and more than three colors in our design, we're going to use Ultra Color Max, our direct to film heat transfers. Now one of the best features of Ultra Color Max is there is no minimum quantity and they can be ordered as a single image or groups of artwork, also known as gang sheets, like we have right here. Now here we just grouped our artwork all together on one sheet for a few different businesses, all sharing that one low print cost. Now this is super easy to do in our EasyView online designer. You could upload and group your artwork together or even design online using the thousands of customizable layouts, clip art, and fonts. Now Ultra Color Max really is a great low cost affordable option for not only low quantities but prototyping and samples to wow your customers of course if you just have single color art like some of the images here on our sheet in higher quantities you're going to be way better off printing with a screen printed transfer like our goof proof all right enough talk what are we waiting for let's print our apron all we have to do now is cut out our ready to apply designs from this sheet and then head on back to the heat press. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apron right on here and you can see that there's these buckles and stuff. I wanna make sure that those stay off the printing area. So I'm gonna push those all the way off. Now one thing is that these seams seem to be pretty flat and these pockets aren't gonna be too much in the way. Now if you are concerned about them being an issue, what you could do is grab a mouse pad. And what we're gonna do is just put the mouse pad underneath the printing area here. So it's going to effectively raise it above any of these seams and give us a nice firm flat printing surface right here on our apron. But I don't think we're gonna have to do that today. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna line this up and make sure all of that other stuff is just off of our platen there. And we'll be able to take our logo that we cut out. I'm actually just gonna move this down so I can place this right up here. Now for aprons, one thing you wanna keep in mind is you wanna keep the print as high up as you can. Because most of the time, this is going around the neck, but this is going to be right about where the chest is on these if you're thinking that these will be about at the waist level. Ultra Color Max applies at 290 degrees for 15 seconds. Now, especially with cotton aprons, you should pre-press the garment to remove any moisture before you print it. So we'll do that now. Next, after everything we talked about, we're gonna grab our logo and we're gonna place it right up here near the top. 
Here I'm just gonna move and make sure that we have all of our buckles and our straps off the printing area. These seams, at least on this apron, and these pockets lay nice and flat, so we're not gonna have to worry about adjusting the pressure too much. Of course, you could always use a mouse pad if you're worried about it affecting the pressure. Here at a medium to firm pressure at 290 degrees for 15 seconds, I think we're gonna be a-okay with our Ultra Color Max. The auto clam opens and we're gonna peel the transfer carrier away immediately, nice and hot. And there you have it, a beautiful, crisp, vibrant print right there on our apron. Looks pretty fantastic once we put it on. Right here in the center chest location, looks perfect right where it is. And that's it, our apron is applied and just looks fantastic. Whether you're using screen printed transfers like the Goof Proof that I mentioned, or these Ultra Color Max transfers, they're going to last wash after wash. In fact, they've been independently tested to 50 plus wash dry cycles to ensure your prints will look great day in and day out. Of course, here at Transfer Express, we're rolling out helpful tips for all apparel decorators every single week. So be sure you're subscribed right here to stay up to date on all of the new videos that we are dropping. But until next time, I'm Dave, happy pressing.